stack feature. I know you've all seen the stack feature. It's right here whenever you select a catalog, stack. I know you've seen it, but do you know how to use it? Well, let's take a look and see exactly how to use the stack feature. I'm going to go grab a wall cabinet here. And I'm going to grab a standard wall cabinet, 15 inches high, 15 inch wall cabinet. I'm going to drag it out here, 3015, drop it right here. Now this guy should be placed at um, 54 inches. I'm sorry, this one's at 84 inches to the top of it. <clears throat> so we're going to use stack on this. We're going to drag another one out here. And I'm going to go stack. And I want to stack it below. I'm going to click on the 15 inch cabinet there. Now I'm going to create <clears throat> an elevation. And here we can see that our cabinet stacked right underneath the other one. We'll go ahead and delete these guys. Well, we'll delete just this one. We'll leave that one on there. There you go. I'm going to drop another wall 3015 out there. We're going to see if I can scroll up high enough so you can see it. Go to stack. And this time we're going to stack above. And we're just going to click on the wall 3015. And you'll see it dropped it right in there above. So when you're doing cabinets that need the little transom above it or whatever, the stack cabinets in your walls, or if you're building you know, a utility out of wall cabinets, this is the easiest way to do it. It sure makes it a lot easier than dropping them on the plan, going into your elevation, moving them up and down, and squishing them all around. This is just a simple couple of simple commands, and it's done for you. So that has been stack. I hope everybody understands it now and can use it and benefit from it.